hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing my updated drugstore makeup starter kit if you guys are starting off with makeup or if you guys want some makeup recommendation everything is drugstore so they're super affordable you have a variety of each category that i'm gonna be talking to you guys about before we begin if this is your first time watching and you are not subscribed to my channel make sure that you click that subscribe button right now and also don't forget to click the notification bell so that way youtube will notify you every time i post a new video and i would also appreciate if you could follow me on instagram and also ltk i will have all the links down below along with all the links for all the makeup products so if you're interested in picking up any of these makeup products just know it is linked down below for you guys i will be talking to you guys about these in categories of lips face eyes but basically it's going to be in categories so it's going to be easy for you guys to find anyways i'm going to start off with lips i have a lot of lip products so the first items that i wanted to talk to you guys about are lip liners i have a variety of these because i feel like we do need a little bit of variety when it comes to lip liners lip liners to me are essential when it comes to doing your lips if you want it to look really nice and lined i have it lined right here today um i actually have the elf one i'm going to be talking to you guys about this in a second so i do have this line in case you guys are wondering i will also link what i have on my face today well it's everything that i have here but also on my lips uh i kind of switched it up so what i have on my lips is this right here and then i put this uh morphe lip pencil i think this this is called nsfw i did top it off with this uh stila lip gloss and what color are you in this is synergy it's really pretty guys we're gonna start off with the lip category uh first thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about are lip liners i think lip liners are essential if you want to have a really nice precise line uh whenever you apply it does help applying your lipstick a lot easier it does help make your lipstick last longer the first ones are these right here this comes in a set of three these are by elf this is called the uh Re elf retro paradise lip liner it like i said it comes in a set of three and it also comes with the uh lip gloss i bought it on amazon and most of these items are either from Amazon or Walmart. But this I got on Amazon and it's only $10 for the set. I do think it's really worth it. They are my favorite. I love the fact that you get three shades of nudes. So you get the lighter nude, the medium nude, and the darker nude. I'm actually wearing the darkest nude. And I really, really love these. I They're very nice and pigmented. Very creamy. Makes your lipstick lo last longer. And I really love them. I don't feel like it dries out my lips. Do recommend these guys. They're lip liners that I really really recommend that you guys pick up are the ones from milani these are the color statement uh lip liners and i have several colors of them i love these as you can see the red one is the most <laughs> The most loved one i think i'm gonna have to get another one really soon i love these lip liners i do have two nude ones that i really recommend they're gorgeous the first one is called nude and it's like a really pretty like nude color as it says and then the other one is called i think all natural yeah and this is like a darker nude but still really pretty i love it guys if you want perfect red lips you need a lip liner that is how i get really nice precise lines this is going to keep your lipstick on it lines your lips really nice the only thing is i do recommend you sharpen it before you apply it but this i really love and this one is called true red also love this one i think this is perfect for the spring and summertime this is like a beautiful like pink bright pink color and this one is in the color hot pink let me give you guys a quick swatch on this so on the um all natural here is the color it's like a darker nude and then here is this one that's called uh nude it's more of a lighter color this one i love like i said the red one is one of my favorites it is so pigmented guys look i barely touch it it's so nice and pigmented i love the fact that it's like a true beautiful bright red it's not like a wine red or a dark red or an orange red it's a true red as it says and that to me is kind of hard to find here is this one that's called hot pink the one that i told you guys that is the pink color and let me give you guys a quick a uh, quick squat quick squatch quick squat swatch <laughs> so it looks like that and then the last one is this one right here this one is in the color pretty pink it looks like this this is the only one that it shows that it's a little bit shimmery but when you put it on you actually can't see the shimmers at all 
So I do recommend this one as well. This is really gorgeous. And let me give you a quick swatch uh, of these as well. The darkest shade. It's like a dark, like a brownie, um, brownie nude color. And then this is the medium shade. Looks like that. And then this is the lightest one. I love the way they just glide on. They're really nice and pigmented, just creamy and amazing. I cannot believe for the price, it's just so, so good. I have three lip glosses that I recommend. The first one is this one right here. This is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. It's clear and it's the only clear lip gloss that I love. It's like four bucks and it is so shiny. If that's all you want on your lips, just some clear gloss. This is the best. And the reason why I really love it is because, oh, I forgot it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, it smells kind of like fruity. But the reason why I really love this gloss is that it's really nice and high shine, but it's not sticky at all. That is a big deal to me because usually with glosses like this, they're so sticky. And then two glosses that I recommend that are more on the nudie side um, are these two. These are the NYX Butter Gloss. I know you guys probably heard about these glosses over and over. It is for a good reason. They're oldies but goodies. They work. I always go back to these glosses. Even when I try different glosses, I always go back to these. These are my never fail and I love them. My, one of my favorite colors, like literally, if I can only pick one, literally just one, it would be this one right here. This is the creme brulee. This is a beautiful nude. It goes with so, mon, uh, so many of my lipsticks. Let me give you guys a quick swatch. It is absolutely gorgeous and these are only like $4. And then here is the next one that I also love. This is more of a darker nude and this one is called Tiramisu. Let me give you guys a quick swatch on that as well. So it looks like that. Really, really beautiful, guys. Of course, they do have these in multiple colors, more bright colors. They do have those, but I just want to show you my two favorites. If you're starting off with makeup, it, you will feel I, more comfortable uh, starting off with nude colors than just going for bold colors. But again, don't be afraid. Practice makes perfect. Moving on to some lip crayons. I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about these. I also really recommend these. I love them. I use these a lot and these are the e.l.f. matte lip color. They are the lip grounds and my favorite colors are these right here. The first one is the color natural. I love this one. So it's a natural color just like it says. It is matte but it's so creamy and pigmented. Little goes a long way. Here's this one. This is I think nudie. No, this is called nearly nude. And this one is such a beautiful nude color. Look at that gorgeous moving on to some liquid lipsticks i have a lot of these from milani milani are one of my favorite liquid lipsticks uh from the drugstore because they're affordable and they're really nice and pigmented they don't dry out your lips they're opaque they apply beautifully they layer nicely they last all day they're just so so good they don't crack they don't start making you look like you have like the super dry crusty lips you know you guys know what i mean with certain liquid lipsticks they can do that and they're uncomfortable these are so so good i highly recommend them and it is these right here i do have some that are matte and there's some that are satin matte i'm gonna first show you guys the satin matte the uh, satin matte so i do have two of the satin matte this is the amore satin matte and the first color is uh this one right here is called lavish zero one and it looks like this it's a really beautiful nude really beautiful beautiful color and then this one oh my gosh this is so gorgeous guys you have to pick this one up this is beautiful and this one is called fancy so it looks like this one thing i will say is that i can't tell the difference between the satin matte and the matte to me they look the same and then this is how fancy looks she is gorgeous here are the matte uh liquid lipsticks by milani the first one is this one right here this is also a nude and this is called adorable number 10 love this one as well and this is more of a darker nude than the other one that's a satin nude as you can see i'm comparing these two so you guys can see here is this one this is one of my favorite pop of colors when it comes to liquid lipstick this one is one of my favorite because it's kind of like a fuchsia pink but it has like a purple undertone it's called fancy and it looks like this is it fancy like the other one so i guess both of these are called fancy but this is in the satin matte and this is the matte that's interesting um but here is the color 
it's so beautiful guys i remember this color like years ago was so popular by mac and everybody was going wild for it but this is beautiful it's definitely a dupe and very nice and bright and here's the last one right here this one is called cherish looks like that and there's the color. I absolutely love that. That one, again, is so pretty. Moving on to two more liquid lipsticks. These are by Wet n Wild. I have probably almost all the colors that they have in their collection. And it's because they're so affordable. I think they're like $3.99. It truly never let me down. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. It is the matte liquid lipstick. And this one is in the color Missy and Fierce. This I love because it's a true red. When it comes to red lips, I only like to use liquid lipstick. The number one tip is use a lip liner, then apply this because it makes the application go on beautifully, smoothly, and effortlessly. Here's how this looks. And here is a little swatch so you guys can see how it looks. Absolutely gorgeous. This lipstick makes your teeth look super white. Moving on to this one. This is also one of my favorites when it comes to like their bright colors. And guys, they do also have nude colors and they have a wide variety of colors. Like I said, I have almost all of them. I have a, at least 20 of them. But I wanted to show you two of my favorites. Again, you can choose whatever color you like because they have a wide variety. This one is called Oh My Dolly. And here's the swatch. So pretty, look at that. So bright, so pretty, perfect for the spring and summertime. Moving on to one more item from the lip collection, and it is the Milani, I think this is called the Milani Statement Lipstick. I have these in about five shades, but I'm gonna show you my favorite go-to lipstick that you need in your makeup collection. This one is called Nude Creme, and it's uh, 26. I love this, I go back to this so much. It looks like this, it is gorgeous. And let me give you guys a quick swatch. Beautiful guys. It's one of those lipsticks that you really don't need to line your lips. It will look beautiful and flawless. If you're in a hurry but you still wanna apply some lipstick on, this is the one for you because you don't need a lip liner for it. It's one of those uh, lipsticks that you really don't. I do anyways just because I love the multi-dimension of the lip liner and the lipstick. I think this is like six or seven dollars. I do recommend you either uh, you get it at Walmart, not like at CVS and drugstores like that because they tend to be like two to three dollars more. Let's do face products. Starting off with foundation. This is my go-to foundation. If you want a full coverage foundation, I recommend this one. This is only like $5. It's by Wet n Wild. It's the Photo fo Focus Foundation. It is in the matte. You can get the dewy. I prefer the matte because I don't I don't like dewy uh, foundation, but to each their own. And this one, I got it in, in the color Soft Ivory. I love this. And I love the fact that they give you the option of using the warm or the light or the cool tone. So they do have that option. I got the warm because my skin tone is warm. I love this, guys. This just stays on all day. It's so, so good. This is how it looks when you open it up. It has like this spatula. It does apply beautifully. It's nice and creamy. Stays on all day. You cannot go wrong with this for $5, guys. This is so good. I know a lot of people talked about this being really great. The only thing I will say is that it has a funky smell. Like, it, honestly, it smells kind of like paint. And at first, when I put it on, I was kind of terrified that my face will crack and fall off or explode i don't really know but it's fine like it doesn't even irritate my skin it doesn't do anything weird it, it works it's really good i just don't understand the smell to be honest with you but this is amazing and then i also have this one right here this is also by wet and wild let me tell you wet and wild is so good um you cannot go wrong they're just amazing so this one is the bare face a tinted hydrator it's a tinted skin veil so basically it's a tinted foundation and it has it says that it has uh, hyaluronic acid and squalene it's oil free and it's sheer to medium coverage i definitely agree with this so what it says is that this is an oil-free perfecter that delivers hydrating benefits and with a buildable sheer to medium tint for a flawless, soft, luminous complexion. 
Hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene help promote healthy looking supple moisturized skin. I agree with that. The one thing I will say with this, it does give you a luminous look. So if you like that look, you don't have to put like you don't have to set it with powder. But I always said it regardless. I don't like that, you know, luminous um kind of dewy look i'm not into that so i do set it but i love to use this on days where i don't want like a full face of makeup if i just want like a tinted foundation i want to go uh, out the door but i kind of want a little bit of coverage this is so good let me show you guys how it looks it's really nice and like a lighter creamy um consistency so it looks like that, but it will give you, like it says, sheer to medium coverage. It's not full coverage. You can layer it. I did once layer it twice, and I feel like it layers nicely, but I don't think you need it because it doesn't give you full coverage. So just keep that in mind. This is a tinted foundation. It's only like $3.00 or no four dollars move on to primer my favorite one is by elf this is the elf poreless face primer this makes my foundation last all day it does make my makeup application flawless and if you have more enlarged pores it does like fill in your pores it gives you a smooth uh base for applying your your makeup it's like five dollars it looks like this so it's kind of more like a it looks like a lotion, that, but when you apply it, you can definitely tell that there's a little bit of silicone in it. it. Gives you more of a filtered face look. And this, I just think it's really worth it. It's very nice and it makes my makeup last all day, like I said. It helps from creasing, like my makeup from creasing. You do need, I do think that you need a face primer for sure. And then uh, let's move on to my favorite setting spray ever this is so good you don't need any other setting uh setting sprays get this guys this is the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist it's up to 16 hour wear and it's this is what it claims lock your look down from am to pm with this lightweight makeup setting spray suited for all skin tones infused with green uh green tea cucumber and aloe known to nourish skin and keep makeup looking fresh as though you just apply it touch-ups are now a thing of the past I so agree with that guys. I had my makeup on now for about five hours and as you can see my makeup is not um, like oily. Usually after about four hours my face will already look oily and I would have to touch up. No matter what setting spray I use I will always have to touch up and I never believe people when they say oh my gosh you use this and it will make your makeup last all day like it's set to go it doesn't go anywhere. That is a big claim for me especially with a setting spray. And a lot of people compare this to the Urban Decay All Night. This is only $8 and this is so good. It does have like a little stone or a ball right here at the bottom. You do have to shake it. And let me tell you, this is so good. It does have the micro fine mist. And that's the reason why, another reason why I love it. Because when it, it sprays, it's literally a mist. It's not one of those sprays that when it sprays, sometimes it gives you an even spray. And then sometimes it gives you like a big old splotch on your face. I hate that because a lot of times with setting sprays, I always get that inconsistent spray. This is the first drugstore setting spray that has that. And let me spray it for you guys so you guys can see. You see that? Like, oh, it's so pleasant to even hear it. And I love the smell. You can definitely smell the cucumbers and green tea in it. This is just so good, guys. So get yourself a setting spray. It makes a heck of a difference. And then I'm going to quickly talk to you guys about two concealers that I so recommend, guys. First one is this one right here. This is by Wen Wild, and it is the Photo... Fo I can't even talk. Photo Focus Concealer. And this is in the uh shade fair beige i love to use this for highlighting uh underneath my eyes on my uh nose on right here on top of my forehead and my chin i love this and this one is like 3.99 it's super affordable just give you guys a quick swatch looks like that it's not of a it's not a thick concealer and it does a blend in like a dream it does increase it lasts all day this is perfect for beginners if you are scared to try concealers because there are some concealers that are really thick and if you don't blend it out and it takes a while to blend out if you don't like that type of concealer i would definitely recommend this because this is definitely like beginner friendly but at the same time it is full coverage and i really really love it I do also have this one right here this is the la colors ultimate cover concealer and i got it in the shade vanilla this is like three dollars guys and it is so good this is the dupe to the tart tape shape concealer i do have that one 
that one is expensive but this is like just three dollars it is so good it's more of a thicker consistency it looks like that it's not thick but it's a little bit thicker than the wet and wild and it does set really nicely it doesn't crease it stays on all day and i love this the only thing i will say about this guys is that little little goes a long way if you just put like a big old big old swatch on your eyes like underneath how they used to do it you know back in like i think 2016 don't do that don't do that you're just gonna ruin your makeup all you gotta do is put like three little dots right here and you're done like little dots guys not like a whole thing you know what i mean that's another good thing about this is that this is going to last you because you don't need to use a lot of product it's full coverage lasts all day doesn't doesn't crease just beautiful Mwah. love it we're gonna do foundation foundation mascara uh first mascara that is you guys i think already know if you've been watching my channel it's this one right here it is the essence lash princess it's the false lash effect mascara it's in the green color they do have them in different colors i haven't tried the other colors so i cannot say but this one has been hyped up for a good reason and i can see why i've been using this for already two years going strong and i always go back to this absolutely love it i do have it on my eyes right now and that is only one swatch i i can do two swatches and it does layer up nicely it doesn't like give you spider lashes but this is one coat and i could have done two actually i think i'm gonna do two just so i can show you guys and i hope you know what let me get a mirror because this is like a disaster waiting to happen when i'm trying to look at my camera and do this what am i doing but yeah guys i really really love this because it builds really nicely. If you guys hear random noises in the background, it's my baby. She's two and she's playing. She's having fun. So I'm going to let her live her best life. So, you know, it is what it is. This is two coats. It doesn't clump up your lashes and it does give you like a curl. I did not curl my lashes whatsoever and it does naturally curl them, which I love. That is a big deal because it's not waterproof and it's able to do that. Usually all mascaras that I've tried never do that. So that is a huge deal. Usually I don't like waterproof mascara. The only time I will use waterproof mascara is if I'm swimming. Other than that, I'm not doing it because it's so hard to take it off. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you can go to the beach with me. So yeah, this I recommend. It's like $3.99, just overall good. And it's hyped up for a good reason. And then the other two mascaras that I also recommend are these right here. These are also by Essence. Essence are really good with their mascaras, let me tell you. And the thing about it that I really love is that they are only $3.99. You cannot beat it for that price. So the first one is this one right here. It's the purple one. And this is the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash, Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers love i love this mascara again it's like three dollars and let me show you guys the wand on it this is how it looks it really does like give you full lengthening mascara it makes my lashes super long it does layer up nicely i remember one time i layered three coats with this and it does such a great job at layering it doesn't give me spider uh spider lashes so i love this one i forgot to show you guys how this one looks the one on this looks like this. I know for some of you guys, you want to see how it looks. So that's how the one looks on this one. Moving on to this next mascara again, it's by Essence. And this is also the Volume Stylist 18 Hour, but this is the Curl and Hold Mascara with Micro Styling Waxes. This one looks a little bit different than the other one. The wand is a little bit different. Looks like that. And this one I love to actually layer. Like, I love to layer these two together. They layer so nicely. But I also love this one. Honestly, it's a really good mascara. It really builds up nicely. It doesn't flake. That's one thing I forgot to mention to you guys. All the mascaras that I'm talking to you guys about, they don't flake. They don't, like, have, like, you won't have little mascaras underneath your eyes. I hate that when that happens. You will not have a problem with this. So this overall just gives you really nice full lashes. I don't think it keeps them curled i'm gonna be honest with you it doesn't curl them it doesn't keep them curled but as far as a good mascara goes this is definitely one of them that i highly recommend you try and then one mascara that i think everybody needs even though to me it's like a love hate relationship is the waterproof mascara by covergirl this one is the covergirl lash blast volume guys this is a holdy and goodie i always go back to this for years now uh i think i've been using this for over like 10 years now it's it's crazy uh it's because it's good i try so many mascaras and i always go back 
back to this one. And I love to have the waterproof. And like I said, guys, the only time I wear waterproof mascara is when I'm going swimming. But the one thing I will say about the waterproof mascara, okay. The one thing I will say about the, this waterproof mascara by CoverGirl is that it really holds your lashes like no other. This one does hold your lashes, like I said, like it a whole, uh, keeps them curled, as you can see. But uh, this, this really curls them to the next level. Um, so what I do with this, if I really want like super curled lashes and extra volume, I curl them. I actually curl them with this and then I apply it and it just stays like that it doesn't go anywhere like i said just keep it in mind this is waterproof so you're gonna have to use some oil based um uh, makeup remover because if you don't you're not gonna get it off because it really stays on you can go in the pool in the ocean and it won't go anywhere and that's the reason why i really love this one this is definitely like i said an oldie but goodie this is a must-have i love it make sure you get the orange too because i know they have different versions of this but this is the one that I recommend. Let's move on to an eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner I have. It's the only eyeliner I recommend. It's the only eyeliner I love. And it is this one right here. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's in the color black. It looks like this. This is like $7. So this I really love because it gives you precise lines. I don't have it on. I honestly forgot to put it on today. I should have. But I really love this one because it gives you precise application. Let me show you guys. It is so pigmented. And the reason why I love this is because it's a really nice black color. And when it dries, it, it dries matte. So you can make it thicker or you can make it thinner. And the reason why I really love it is that it's really precise. It's easy. What I recommend if you're starting off with uh, liquid eyeliners is go closest to your eye line. Just go along the line like that and you are good. It's so easy to apply and that's the reason why I love it because I know before with liquid eyeliners, I was always intimidated. If I did like a full glam makeup and I wanted to apply the eyeliner, I was always like, oh God, oh Lord, please make, do not let me mess it up because once you mess up eyeliner, it's kind of hard to fix your makeup. It really is. You could definitely use pencil eyeliner, but I don't use any pencil eyeliners. I'm just going to be honest with you. Sometimes I do uh, underline on my eyes like you see, but I'm going to show you guys what I use under my uh, under my eyes, which is not a eyeliner. It's not a pencil eyeliner. But I do that because I do like to have somewhat of a dimension on my eyes or underneath my eyes. But this, guys, I'm telling you, get it. You will thank me. And the one thing I love about this, I almost forgot to mention, is that it stays on all day you can go in the water you can go in the pool in the ocean do whatever you want it's not going anywhere and it does say it is waterproof you can get the one that's not waterproof and let's move on to brow i have several brow products the first one is this one right here you guys know i've been talking to you guys about this for years i do have it on my brows right now this is the la colors brow pencil and i think it's in the color medium yeah it's in the color medium it looks like this it has the brush right here where you can brush them in and here is the pencil as you can see it's almost done it's actually pretty long it goes like up to here i bought already like three or four of them so let me give you guys a, a quick swatch so it looks like that i really love it because it's not super creamy but it's the perfect amount of slight creaminess if you guys know what i mean where it applies uh flawlessly you can get precise application but at the same time it's not too creamy i actually don't like too creamy of uh brow product because then i feel like it just goes everywhere and it's a hot mess especially in the hot days you don't want that but this actually stays on all day i used it last year all day in the sun it goes nowhere guys it's that good and i love the fact that it has this brush this is actually quite useful i love to brush it out because if you uh let's say you uh drew this in darker than the other one you can always brush it out a bit and it does kind of fade out really nicely it's actually a dollar tree for a dollar well dollar tree right now is a dollar 25 but still super affordable you might be able to find it online if you don't have any dollar tree nearby but i did get mine from dollar tree and then two other brow products that you guys know i've been talking about these a lot is because i love them so much the first one is this one if you want to set your brows so they can stay put and they won't like go crazy this is really good if you just want to set your brows it is clear so just remember there's no color to it this is the nyx the brow glue it's like seven dollars this is how it looks and it's really small, so it'll give you really nice, small, precise application. Highly recommend this if you are not into drawing in your brows, but you just want to set it, get this one. And if you do want to, like, 
kind of have some color to your brows this one is also good i actually use this one as well i really wanted today some extra precise um eyebrows like really lined brows so i did use this one first like I, I outlined it and then i used this on the inside it just brushed it in the one thing i love about this is that it can give you that bushy look which i know is on trend right now and i forgot to mention this can also give you the bushy look i love that it can give you the bushy look or not you can set it and it gives you an, uh, at the same time color and this is the nyx thick it stick it thickening brow mascara it does give you hair like fibers so i really love that let me show you guys how it looks so when you open it up it looks like this and as you can see those like it looks like real hair like right there sticking out those are not my brows but i really love it i caught i got it in the color brunette this is like ten dollars it's like creamy but it's that perfect amount that it goes on nicely it fills in your brows it gives you a nice shade to your brows and it looks natural so if you don't have to use this obviously uh, you can just use this for more natural looking shaded brows and it at the same time it sets them it stays all day and again this you can swim go in the ocean go in the pool you don't have to worry about it going anywhere for eyeshadow primer um i do recommend this one as well this is my ride or die right here this is the milani eyeshadow primer it's a lightweight visible finish works on all skin tones looks like this this i think is like six dollars they call it a nude but it's actually more like sheer let me show you guys so it looks like this so it does look nude but when i apply it it does blend in and it doesn't really give you much coverage as at all the purpose of the eyeshadow primer is to make your shadow last all day so it doesn't fade and it doesn't go anywhere so i do recommend this one i have tried so many eyeshadow primers but this is the one that i always go back to as far as eyelash glue goes this is my favorite this is my oldies but goodies this is the dual brush on adhesive it's white but it turns clear when it dries and i actually like that because you like know when it's drying it looks like this and here's a quick swatch let me show you guys you see that it's like white but when it dries it will uh it will be completely clear it's like four or five dollars i recommend it this never lets me down moving on to a beauty blender this is my favorite this is the one that i always go back to it's by real techniques it's five dollars or four dollars actually get it on amazon and you can get it in a pack of four for ten dollars so it's more affordable if you get it on amazon than going to other places where you buy one for like four or five dollars you get literally four for ten dollars this is the best i love it it's wet right now because i did use it all you got to do is wet it squeeze out the water and it blends your foundation like a dream do recommend it to me this is the only thing i apply my foundation with it's just good and also my concealer just just get it you will love it let's move on to some highlighters these are the ones that i always go back to no matter what i've tried multiple highlighters so the first one is this one right here this is the essence pure nude highlighter this is the bomb i love this one and this one is called uh be my highlight this is like four dollars guys it's hyped up for a good reason i always go back to this one. if you want to have like a more natural subtle glow it's more of a like subtle glow looks like you're glowing from within get this guys it's so good it's so smooth and beautiful let me show you guys how it looks so you guys can see it's not one of those like chunky glitters it's more of a glow if you want that nice glow highlight this is more of a natural i'm not kidding you guys every time i wear this people will always tell me like oh my gosh your skin is so beautiful it's glowing and i'm like it's a highlight it's not it's not me and then another one that i really love and recommend is this one right here this is by hard candy it is called tiki and it says it's a big bronzer but honestly guys this is not a bronzer this is a highlight and it looks like this let me give you guys a quick swatch so here's the swatch let me put it right here so it looks like that this is more of a natural glowing um highlight it's not like one of those in your face you know what i mean but this i also recommend i absolutely love this one i'm more into like natural highlighters i'm not into like the super chunky glittery one I do have my high-end um highlights that they are a little bit more like chunky glittery not chunky but they're more of a highlight in your face you know but at the same time it's still uh like it looks beautiful and it it's not it doesn't make you look like you have like a big old chunk of glitter that just went on your face you know what i mean and then here's this one this is my ride or die and i love this one as you can see i hit pan on it and i'm gonna have to get another one soon 
This is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana and it is the it says it's a bronzer with SPF 15. I don't understand how this is a bronzer. Like what's going on? Wet n Wild, get your life straight. This is not a bronzer. This is a beautiful natural highlight. Again, this is more of a natural highlight if you want like that glowing from within if you want more of a glowing from within highlight you will love this this is like four dollars and let me give you guys a quick swatch it looks like that it's so beautiful guys i highly recommend this i just love it it makes your skin look just flawless and perfect and naturally beautifully glowing now let's move on to one uh one blush one thing about me guys i'm gonna be honest with you i am not really a blush type of girl I don't really like blush. I don't have a lot of blush. I do have more higher end blush, but this is a drugstore. So I'm only going to show you the one that I use that is a uh, drugstore. And it is this one right here. This is the essence. It's called the blush and it is in the color blooming. I like the fact that this is more of a natural blush. I don't like the colorful ones. I, I don't like the super like in your face blush where it's obvious that i'm wearing blush i don't like that that's just me i know it's preference but if you want more of a natural blush especially if you're starting off with makeup i recommend this it's a beautiful color it's like a very very light blush pink it's almost like a natural color it's very subtle guys but when you put it on it applies so beautiful it looks so nice guys so smooth and applies beautifully it blends like a dream it stays on all day this is only like three dollars from essence let's move on to a bronzer this is the one that i always go to i don't think i'll ever find another one that i love as much as i love this either as drugstore or high end this is the one i love this is the physician's formula butter bronzer it is in the light yeah so this is light they also have a medium but oh my gosh i love this one so it looks like this and over all this time that i had this it still smells like coconuts not as strong as before but it's still you can still smell the coconuts and guys the one thing i love about this bronzer i know it's hyped up for a good reason is that it blends like a dream it makes you look really nice and bronzy but at the same time it makes you look natural it looks like you've been in the sun and you just have naturally beautiful bronze looking gorgeous face like honestly it's gorgeous i love it and this is the one that a lot of times i will even add in my crease like i did today i did put this in my crease and i put it underneath my eye for a little bit of like just dimension I love this this is like ten dollars guys this is the only bronzer you need and i think this is really good if you're starting off with makeup there are some bronzers or um contours that are just so harsh and if you are barely starting off with makeup it will be very overwhelming because it's like whoa it's like a big old line it's dark it's you know it's it, it is overwhelming this is a good starter but overall to me i've been using this for years now and it's the only one i use moving on to a setting uh powder i love this one i know i talked about this before guys this is so good this is the uh original formula air spun loose face powder this is the translucent extra coverage i'm telling you guys it's like eight dollars this is so good it smells nice like smells fresh at the same time it's not the type of smell that i want to smell when i apply it on my face but it's not a big deal because when you do apply it it does go away so the smell does not linger which is good this is like seven or eight dollars does come with this sponge right here i actually never use it what i do is i just tap some right here and i do use like a uh, powder brush i just apply it on my face it sets my face and i love it because it does apply on your face like perfectly effortlessly sets your face all day long i just love this i highly recommend it it's actually the only one that i've been using now for a while i love this one so so much and it gives you quite a bit of product in there so it's really good i do have one more foundation that i wanted to talk to you guys about it's actually a foundation powder but i still wanted to mention it it is my favorite when it comes to just applying like a quick foundation powder and i don't want to like apply anything else just quick and go there are days where honestly i just apply this and i'm done it is this one right here this is the milani conceal and perfect shine proof powder and this one is in the color light natural or natural light looks like this and this is what it claims it says that it's uh skin stays shine free comfortable feel uh buildable coverage mattifying bamboo powder absorbs oils and it says that it has lily extract tightens the look of pores 
so good guys honestly it does conceal my pores like i do have more like bigger pores right here and i did notice when i apply it it does conceal them it makes them look flawless you look like a filter and it lasts all day it is so good guys i also use it to set my foundation if i use like a tinted moisturizer i do use this let's move on to some false lashes these are the two that i recommend they're my favorites from the drugstore the first one is this one right here this is the ardell double up this is the double wispies this is so good i love the wispies but i like the double wispies a little bit more because they're more dramatic i don't have them on but when i do i love to wear these these are the best they don't feel heavy on the eyes they're really nice and easy to apply then the other false lashes that i really love are these right here this is the ardell glamour multi-pack it's in the 105 love these as well if you want more of a glamorous look these are really pretty and i like them because they obviously don't look natural because they are false lashes like they're gonna be more bold more voluminous and you know it's out there last category i'm going to show you guys some palettes that i recommend i do have one face palette and then the rest are eyeshadow palettes the first one is this one right here this is the la colors uh show it off blush and highlight oh my gosh guys you really need this i love this one this is in the show it off and it does give you like a little tutorial and it shows you how to apply it i love this because it has multi uses for it um this is amazing i do like to use this to highlight my brows i can use this to set my under eyes i can use this to highlight right here kind of like a matte highlight this i love to use as a blush this is actually a blush that i will use because it's more of a natural you guys know let me give you guys a swatch on this so here's the white one Here's the blush, gorgeous. And here's the other blush. This is more of like a, a little bit darker than the first one. And then this is the highlight. Overall, just beautiful. Let me see if I can swatch them all at the same time for you guys. Okay, this is like a weird swatch right here. So it looks like that. I really, really love, love this. So I actually love to use these two right here. And actually this whole palette even for my eyes so that's why i love this face palette because you can use it on your eyes you can use it on your face it has multi-purposes i love the look whenever i apply this on my on my eyes i love that color how it looks i love the highlight on the corner right here i can put it and have like a little glow this like i said i like to use on my brow bone or set my under eyes it has so many uses for it you okay and then, of course, you can use this uh, highlight on your cheekbones. Uh, you can use these as blushes. And then you can use this um, to set your makeup or even, uh, like I said, set your uh, under eyes or put it right here for a more highlighted look. Just love this overall, guys, because this is only like $4. And it's so good. It's so pigmented, so smooth. Moving on to some eyeshadows. I love eyeshadow palettes. Um and the three that i wanted to talk to you guys about are these right here these are by ColourPop, guys i love ColourPop. i have like 10 different colors of these these three are my favorites and the first one is this one right here this is the blush crush it looks like this and guys these are only like ten dollars and a lot of times you can get them for like seven with coupon codes um but i love this one it looks like this these are so gorgeous so pigmented so smooth applies like a dream blends like a dream stays on all day and it shows the names on the back right here let me give you guys a quick little squatch squatch swatch um of these right here i'm hoping i can find a place i can give you guys it is so pretty yeah baby one second okay can i show them this please and then here's this one these are more of the darker ones okay looks like that and let me give you guys another swatch of these look at that it is so beautiful i love this because it's really beautiful like um it's very feminine like i love these colors they're very beautiful girly and then the other one is this one right here this is the color uh color pop making mauves and it tells you like the names of uh the eyeshadow it looks like this this is so gorgeous and let me give you guys quick swatches on these i'm gonna give you guys a swatch here i feel like the swatches are getting out of hand they're just everywhere right now looks like that and here are the other four swatches of that palette look at that right there and then here are the swatches of these it looks like that it is so so pretty guys 
the quality on these ColourPop eyeshadows are so good uh if you guys tried ColourPop, you know the quality is really good and the reason why i really love them is because it's really affordable i know technically ColourPop is not drugstore because you can't find it at the drugstore i mean you can find it at ulta and on colourpop.com but you can't find it um like at the drugstore and the other palette that is from colourpop is this one right here it's called it's my pleasure and this is their purple palette they do have a uh, monochromatic palettes but i really love this i think purple is really flattering on a lot of skin tones this is a mirror but i didn't take that off so it doesn't blind you guys it does have the film on it so let me give you guys a quick swatch it is so buttery smooth so beautiful and pigmented look at that guys look at that color and let me get let me give you guys a quick swatch right here i am running out of space so so pretty and then i'm gonna give you a swatch of the rest of the eye here are the other four colors let me tell you guys it applies on your eyes so nicely it builds up so nicely it's very pigmented it's opaque i did want to give you guys two honorable mention uh these are the only ones that are not drugstore i'm sorry but i genuinely use these palettes and i really wanted to quickly show you guys it is this one right here this is the tartlet in bloom by tart and i love this this is more of the neutral one so if you're looking for like a a neutral warm neutral color eyeshadow this is the one to go i don't have any neutral color um eyeshadow palettes that are drugstore to be honest with you when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i go for the high end and this is my favorite one i love it it is so buttery smooth i'm just going to give you guys some swatches on some of them so you guys can see how beautiful it is and i really love the fact that they give you a variety of matte satin and metallic so really nice look at that really beautiful this is just nice for like every day going to work wherever you want to just have like an everyday eyeshadow palette i absolutely love it and then one more that i had to mention guys because this is my favorite Too faced palette this is the peach palette the sweet peach palette this is my favorite one out of all the Too Faced palettes that I have. And I love this even though it's like a peach palette. But a lot of it has like warm, um, warm tones. Like really beautiful and warm tones. And this just goes with so many of my looks. I get so many looks out of this. I'm going to give you guys quickly some swatches. So this is just gorgeous. Let me tell you guys. Looks like that. And here are some swatches i just love this so that's the reason why even though this is a peach palette so it does have like peach and orangey colors but at the same time they do have a lot of like the warm nice tones and then there's like black and brown and a nice highlight really nice they actually have um three highlights right here where it's like the matte the satin and you get a variety of it so i really love it and that is it guys and oh my gosh this is gonna be a super long video but i really hope you guys enjoyed it i know this is gonna take me a while to edit but i really hope that you guys enjoy watching this video i hope it was helpful and until next time remember god bless bye